Hey guys, I am so excited. Why? Well, because it's Wednesday. Always a good day to be excited, but also because today I'm interviewing someone who, by the way, look at how mag like magnetic Val looks. I was just like, <laughs> what? You're going to show up like that? That is just so fun. But everything that Val does is honestly very magical. If you haven't gotten to know Val yet, you need to. And that's what we get to do a little bit today. So Val, thank you so, so much for joining us. Can you share with everybody a little bit about who you are and kind of what your journey has been so far? Yeah, of course. First of all, thank you for having me on here. Like this as an introvert, like this is scary for me. So <laughs> definitely have to like, you know, learn how to push through out of my comfort zone. But for me, you know, I definitely I went to college for marketing. Like I knew pretty early on that I wanted to be like in this space somehow. And I saw myself working for like an ad agency down the road and definitely playing that safe route of like, I mean, that career, you know, for 30 years and retiring from like the same job. And I think really putting myself into that role, I realized that I wanted to do so much more than that. <laughs> like I didn't want to limit, my, limit myself to like the nine to five or even limit like things like my income and my lifestyle. Like I realized early on, like I, I graduated in 2010, which was like the brink of the recession. <laughs> And I was graduating college, like I, I, my path, my journey has not been the typical one. I was a teen mom. I had both my kids in college. So I think that made me even more determined to go ahead and just finish through my education. It was more of a personal decision. Although now I realize that like, you don't, you do not need a college degree to be successful, like at all. But for me, it was just more of a personal thing. You know, I was one of the first in my family to graduate. So it was a big deal, like just personally. So, you know, I, I definitely learned by doing, like, a lot of people say, like, oh, like, no wonder you ended up being a marketer, you went to school for marketing, but, like, everything I learned in college, like, none of that. I Like, none of the things that I do now, I learned in college. I mean, nobody was teaching me how to do Facebook ads. Nobody was teaching me how to, like, start an online business. All of that, like, I literally just learned by doing and... Like in college, I started um, my very first like business or like side hustle was building websites. So that was a way for me to like one, have like a flexible way of making money while being a student and also um, managing mom life. <laughs> you know, like I, I, I could not have like a job where I was making minimum wage. Like it was just not in the cards for me. I just I just couldn't like really settle for that. Um, so I had to create my own opportunity and that's how like creating websites for people. And I was building like nothing like super beautiful or customized. Like I was building like $300 websites here and there, but $300 for me was a big deal back then. Like that's how much I used to make like at my retail jobs in a week. <laughs> so Plus I had to like, you know, hire, baby hire babysitters and like put up the cost for, for like childcare. So yeah. yeah, like really creating that opportunity for myself and then I, I was, I've always been a fashionista, I've always been into fashion, and I had this like really big handbag addiction. <laughs> but I started, like, started selling handbags, some of my collection and some other bags that like people had kind of consigned with me, like online. I built this like very <laughs> hideous website and like, but it worked, right? Like it sold my purses, it built up a small little business. And like wow. in over four years, I grew that. And it was through digital marketing and especially email marketing that allowed me to sell that business four years later. And then at that point I was graduating college and I was able to not worry so much about finding a job right away. I could stay home with my kids and almost like take a break, like take a breather for you know a year and a half to raise my kids and to just figure out what I really wanted to do with my life. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, a couple of things I want to point out, because I think that these things will resonate with different people. It's one thing to be an online personality and to build a business completely online. And I think there's a common misconception that you have to be extroverted and super, super outgoing and comfortable all the time. And that works for some people. Like I am very extroverted by nature, but I have a lot of friends who are introverted and get shy about hopping on camera. And I love that you shared that. What was the biggest like resistance or, you know what I mean? Like what kept you saying it's safer to not be, you know, out there online? Cause I think that'll help a lot of people watching. Yeah. Like I, I think a lot of it is 
mindset. Uh, unfortunately, you know, even just a few years ago, I think I was just operating in very poor mindset and I didn't like part, part of that um, took away from like my confidence online. And I was like, nobody wants to see this awkward, like literally socially awkward woman, like stutter away, say likes and you knows, you know, like no, it's no tomorrow. Like, but what I've learned over time is that people appreciate like authenticity. Like people appreciate seeing you go up there and like conquer your fears. Like I've definitely been in the audience and like the speakers aren't even that great, but I'm so inspired that they have the courage to just be up there. I'm like, okay, they have the balls to do that and I don't like, but they're inspiring me to at least start trying to be that person. And I don't ever, like I've never really aspired to become an extrovert, but I definitely feel like my introverted personality has played to my benefits, like in many situations, like especially in the corporate world, like I I landed almost every job I interviewed for based on like the fact that like I'm so good one on one, and that's what like a lot of the feedback I got was like, wow, like you kind of blew us away just being one on one. Now putting me in front of like a hundred people, that's a whole different story. But <laughs> you know, it's definitely about, and I appreciated the fact that like a lot of my mentors and my bosses in the nine to five world, they challenged me like. I had a, a boss one time tell me like, you're giving this presentation to the entire company and it's 150 people across, you know, four divisions. And I was, I mean, it was horrible. Like I was literally like the microphone, like I, I'd be talking and the microphone would be like over here, like, yeah, you know, like, and like, or you, you could hear me like shaky, like, oh, hi everybody. <laughs> it was so horrible. But like, I would have never done that if like, it literally, if my job didn't depend on it basically. But she, she told me, she's like, I'm gonna make you push yourself out of your comfort zone because nobody has ever pushed you. You're not going to push yourself. So I think definitely having those people around you to like help you grow, like it, that's so important. <laughs> so, and like, and, and also like, I know what it's like to want like the impact, like you can definitely have an online business and a profitable online business and stay behind the scenes. Like that's, there's never been an easier time I think in history you know, to, to do just that than it is today. Like today you can literally just start a business, start marketing yourself, and you don't necessarily have to be doing Facebook lives every single day. Like I'm proof of that. But what I'm lacking, and I know that is the impact that I want to make. Like I want to change lives with my business. I want to change lives with my gifts. And I'm not going to do that hiding behind the camera screen. Like, nobody's going to know me. They might hear my name from time to time, but they don't know my personality. They don't know, you know, I definitely don't, I'm, I'm almost like uh, weakening my no like and trust factor by not getting in front of the camera. And like the, the worst that can happen is like nobody shows up or somebody points out you got a booger in your nose or something like that. But like I think like I just have so much respect for people who just go out and do it and just, you know, done is better than perfect. Like always. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've got a couple of different people commenting saying, yep, another introvert here, introvert trying to find her voice and find her strength. Um, even just watching this, I know people are like, that girl has something. Like, even if it's not center stage in front of 20,000 people, there's something special about you. And it's almost like an extraness. Like, that's the best word to, you know, you. <laughs> you are extra. <laughs> No more. Like I'm sure people watching are like, I want to. I, I want to know more about Val. She's intriguing and exciting, and there's there's some kind of like it factor. I don't know how to explain it. But another thing that I really want to point out because we've shared a lot about like your backstory is how far you've come. Because you joined, I think you joined SMU and didn't really waste any time. I think wasn't it like really fast that you ended up joining the social click it was it was fast i thought i want to say like maybe two months in and honestly like i'll be totally honest like i think I, I purchased the the dollar trial and i didn't even dive in until like maybe the end of that first month and that's when i started like regularly just like being really active in the facebook group like this, this was the first time in my whole life as a social media manager that i ever connected with other like people in my industry, like doing the exact same thing. And I remember thinking like just two years ago when I was a social media manager in the corporate world, like, I'm like, where are my people? Like, where are the other people doing this? Where are the other people 
that I can like learn from or like run some ad ideas by and like just finding SMU I'm like oh this is what I needed this whole time so like finally like finding my little tribe and really just connecting with you like even though at that time I'm sure you had no idea who I was like I'm like oh my gosh like she was a single mom too like she has kids like and like and she's not putting up all these excuses of running a multi-million dollar business like and here I am thinking I'm you know somebody <laughs> just making the little you know 10k months that i had which was still good which was still you know fantastic from where i was just a few months before that but you definitely opened my eyes to just dream bigger like just going way bigger and and really seeing the possibility of becoming a millionaire <laughs> you know and like really like a successful entrepreneur like for me like i'm not driven just by money like for me i just I'm driven by first like the impact and and really just building that community like and like and I, I have never been like a part of a community like SMU. Like you have done such an amazing job just building those like relationships and these people, like they're truly like just I don't even know how to say it, like so authentic, like everybody's willing to like come together and help each other. Like there's no stupid questions being asked and e even if like they are or whatever, but like people just are willing to help and I've never been a part like I'm always I've always been part of the communities where like oh I know the secret but you got to pay me five hundred dollars to like you know find out person <laughs> here like I, I can honestly say like SMU has been the smallest investment I ever made with like the biggest ROI which is crazy <laughs> like what can a dollar buy I always think this is the funniest thing I like wish I could get everyone in the whole world to realize like one dollar just one dollar like what what you can't even get like a Big Mac for a dollar anymore. There's tax, you know. Yeah. So it's like, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> you've grown so so much. And one of the things that I think is really cool about like your journey and your story is that you haven't from from a very early time you were able to bring in a team and build a business that fits your lifestyle. Now, if you do not follow Val, you need to because how many times have you been to Disney? in the last what month six months year like you go to disney all the time so uh, do you know how many it's been <laughs> <laughs> how many times have you been is it like 10. she knows she totally knows she's like <laughs> i guess can me <laughs> um, I mean, I go to Disney almost every day, so like it's no, like I, I'm, you know, I live 15 minutes down the road. Like I, it's just part of my lifestyle. Like I'm totally a Disney lifestyler. Oh my gosh, that's so true. 10 maybe this month, Kelly said. <laughs> what's really cool, and I don't think most people realize this, is that like you can truly build a life that you, love like you can decide what does my life look like do i want to go to disney every day like why not i think there's so much that's taught to us in our upbringing and we touched on this before the interview people believe like i can't do that for some reason it's almost like we're following this like invisible set of rules that keeps you from being happy and what i love to is that you said no i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna do exactly what i want tell me a little bit about what that looks like for you because it's different for every single person oh yeah for sure um you know i thought i wanted to climb up the corporate ladder when i was in you know in the corporate world like i i saw but i never really aspired to be like my bosses like i was aspiring to be like the ceos of the company i'm like okay like i I have a long way to go, but like, that's where I have like my, my, you know, the big dream set on. Um, and then when I realized like, I really wanted to like be my own boss, that my biggest hindrance was, you know, because I, I was a mom and I, I was limited to like literally nine to five and like it was the same routine every single day. I'm like, I get that I'm making great money, but when am I going to actually live my life? Like, when can I actually enjoy the money that I'm making? Like, I'm so tired on the weekends. Like, it's just... <clears throat> rinse and repeat every single week over and over and over again <clears throat> and for me like <clears throat> excuse me i don't know if you're like a fan of the greatest showman there's like literally a two second clip in that movie where it shows like the masses working inside the office and then like the camera just moves over to like the graveyard and yeah. like that's like that is 
what so many people I feel like do, and that's like my biggest fear, honestly, just like <clears throat> working to my death and never really getting to enjoy. It. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting like my just clear that, like clear it healthy. I remember being like in my office and like looking out the window and like seeing people out there like just going for a jog or you know just living flexible lives and I'm like how can I do that so that's when like the the wheels really started turning for me I'm like okay like clearly that's not possible for me in a job um and then I actually ended up having a job um, agreed to me working like working from home so that was like the first step into like a more flexible schedule for me like not, like avoiding commute times and it's just it's, for traffic here is crazy so like that was a great opportunity to kind of transition and then yeah it's like okay who says i can't travel more or that i can't go to disney as much as i want and maybe for you it's not going to disney maybe it's like taking a random i don't know road trip or maybe it's something else but for me like i definitely thrive on like experiences yeah. and i've just always wanted that freedom in my in my routine in my daily life so that's really where i started like reverse engineering i'm like okay like i want to go to disney five times a week what do i gotta do how many clients do i need to bring in to make that happen what kind of a team do i need to bring on to like take care of that work because obviously like i'm gonna need help with the client work if i'm yeah. if i only want to work a set you know a certain set amount of hours and i don't necessarily want to work nine to five every single day so i think it was just like seeing that it was possible and then just taking the action towards that. <laughs> I love it so much. Val, you're living proof that like you can design the life that you want, you know? And if you want pink hair, you can have pink hair. And I know that that's, that sounds like such a cosmetic thing, but it's not because it's such a big, like it's not just Ariana Grande who can have pink hair and you know, awesome, awesomeness in every part of her life. We can actually have that happiness if, pink hair sequins and sparkles and all of these things are what your soul like wants you know mm -hmm. if, it, if it's what your soul is craving and i love seeing it like i love seeing your happiness so i know some people watching are probably like i gotta follow this girl i gotta see her adventures of disney i gotta see adventures of the mermaid hair like what's gonna happen <laughs> val where is the best place for people to learn more about you so i'm all over social media at blair and Eve xo um, I just started a YouTube channel. If you want to follow me on there, I'm going to be doing a lot more like behind the scenes on there. Um, but I think Instagram and, and YouTube, I think, is where I'll just be mostly active. Or you can also check out my website at valeriamead.com. <laughs> awesome. Val, thank you so, so much for joining. And if you've been watching this and you're like, I got to start this journey, it's $1 to get started. You can go to www.smutrial.com and come on in, say hi to Val, say hi to me. We can't wait to see you on the inside. We'll see you all later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>